Blessed morning everyone. Welcome to our daily prayer covenant and let's start our day with the Lord in prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we want to glorify your name today. We also want to thank you Lord for the rest that we have last night. And as we continue, may you be the center in our midst. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So our scripture for this morning po is found in the book of Psalm chapter 2. Verses 1 to 12. And it says, Why do the nations conspire and the peoples plot in vain? 
the kings of the earth rise up and the rulers band together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us pick their chains and throw off their shackles. The one enthroned in heaven laughs and the Lord scoffs at them. He rebukes them in his anger and terrifies them in his wrath, saying, I have installed my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the Lord's decree. He said to me, You are my son today, and I have become your father. Ask me, and I will make the nations your inheritance, the ends of the earth your procession. You will break them with a rod of iron. You will dash them to pieces like pottery. Therefore, you kings, be wise. Be warned. You rulers of the earth, serve the Lord with fear and celebrate his ruler, his role with trembling. Kiss his son, or he will be angry, and your will and your way will lead to your destruction, for his wrath can flare up in a moment. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. So in Psalm chapter two, David talks about the power and authority of the Lord. He declares that the nations are God's inheritance and that he will rule over them with justice and righteousness. Uh, do you know the power of prayer? In Psalm chapter 2, David declares that the Lord's prayer is a powerful weapon. He says that when we pray, we can move mountains and change nations. This psalm is a prayer for all nations and it is a reminder that God is in control of everything. He reigns over kings and kingdoms, and there is nothing that can stand against him. As we pray this psalm, let us remember to put our trust in God. He alone is worthy of our praise. The second psalm is also about trusting in God no matter what. It's a reminder that we can't always see what God is doing but we can trust that he has a plan and knows what's best for us. This psalm is an encouragement to keep our faith strong even when things are tough. When we're going through hard times, it's easy to start questioning God and wonder why this is happening to us. But the truth is, we'll never know everything that's going on behind the scenes. All we can do is trust that God has a good reason for everything and will help us get through whatever we're facing. No matter what life throws at you, we can find strength in knowing God is always with us. He loves us more than we could ever imagine, and His love will never fail or forsake us. It seems like everything around us is falling apart in today's world, from political unrest to natural disasters, Many things can shake our faith in humanity, and even our faith in God himself. It can be hard not to feel hopeless when so much bad news comes at once, but we must remember that the Lord never leaves those who call upon him. So no matter what happens next, stay strong, keep praying for peace, because Jesus said, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness for they shall be filled. When I was going through a really tough last time last year, prayer was one of the only things that kept me going. I would pray for strength and guidance, even when it felt like God wasn't listening. And sure enough, over time, things started to get better, the situation improved, and I began to see the silver lining in what had once before in a very dark cloud so if you're feeling lost right now or everything is like to you instead for you then take some time each day to pray even if it's just for five minutes the lord will answer you i promise the second psalm is about the power of prayer and how it changed our lives for the better this psalm reminds us that God loves us even when we are weak, sinful people who need help from Him daily. The Lord will always answer those prayers if you ask Him with faith. 
This means having confidence that He hears your voice no matter what happens next or how bad things look right now because He knows what's best for all His children, including you. You should pray every day without fail because as long as you have breath inside your lungs, then there's always hope no matter how bad things seem. So don't give up. Keep praying. Keep trusting in God. And soon, you'll see that things are starting to look up. So I hope this scripture for today will give us hope and confidence to trust our God daily. And let us come to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, once again, we want to give you praise this morning. Uh, we want to thank you, Panginoon, for the gift of life you've given us. Lord, uh, may you help us to surrender all that we are to you as we wait patiently. All our concerns, our hopes, and fears. I'm also praying, Lord, that you may give us a heart that trusts you completely. And I'm praying, Lord, for those who are listening right now, uh, may you give them comfort in whatever situation they are experiencing. Please continue to guide, protect, and sustain us as we continue to do. We love and honor you and we want to give, uh, bring back all the highest praises into your name. Amen.